Welcome back to IMEX. Let's look a little further into the LBT telescope in Safford, Arizona. This telescope is capable of recording imaging sources that are, in astronomy jargon, 28th magnitude. So that's many millions and millions of times fainter than what human eye or backyard telescope can see. What we want to study is stars that are in the end of their lives. In the end of their lives, they become unstable and they basically collapse. So you see what is called a supernova. A supernova is basically just a, a huge display of light in a very small amount of time. So what we are observing is we are trying to catch these stars before going supernova, so before they explode at the end of their lives. And we got a grant from the Research Corporation in Tucson that brings us up to a total one-sixth share of time in the telescope, which is roughly translates into 50 or 60 nights per year. The LBT partnership is a very diverse one. There are a lot of very good people who have come together to bring this telescope uh, into the forefront of astronomy. The telescope itself was uh, fabricated in Italy. We have several instruments being built in Germany and Ohio State, which will be in the forefront of astronomy when we install them on the telescope. It's a self-contained facility. There are living facilities for the astronomers. There are dorm rooms. There's a kitchen. There's a lounge. There's satellite TV. We have pretty good internet connection and phone. In fact, a cell phone works. At least my cell phone works. So I can call my girlfriend. So. <laughs> The LBT is incorporating some cutting-edge technology to produce very high-quality astronomical images that are not available on any other facility in the world. We'll have the ability to actually remove the scintillation or twinkling of starlight and produce a telescope that will yield images almost as good as any space-based telescope. So I think that will be one of the big successes of the LBT. I just love looking up in the sky. I think one of the reasons I became an astronomer, in addition to all the science questions, is the sky is just really beautiful. I think one of the thrills, of course, is sunset, because as the sun goes down, it can be a very thrilling and exciting experience and seeing the stars come out. But then when the building opens and you begin to train the telescope on the sky and see the things it should do, it makes it all worthwhile. I like stuff. I like, I like working with stuff. And this is the biggest hunk of stuff I've ever gotten to work with. I don't know if we're going to make some great discovery, but we're going to get some really cool piece of data. And it's going to be just the beginning. Having done that, the end is not producing the machine. It's now starting to turn it from an engineering project into doing science with. It. That's going to be fun. From the Ohio State University, I'm Chris Forbes. Thanks for watching.